What's happening, boys? Flashback to 1969. This is a Triumph 650TR6R. What a kick-ass piece, man. It handles like a dream. It's got a nice sticky set of Metzler tires on it. The previous owner who passed away, unfortunately, another, another long-term love affair relationship with a motorcycle. Guy owned it for a long, long time. I bought it from his brother. He bought it to the museum last week, and uh, this is exactly the way the bike came to us, man. It's absolutely beautiful. He's completely restored, re restored the paint, put a new paint job on it, including the headlight uh, ears. Some time ago, probably, probably 10 years ago, it was restored cosmetically and mechanically. The engine was redone. Bike's in really nice shape, no evidence of it ever being crashed or smashed or anything like that, and obviously, well, it was a well-loved machine. Kick starts real easily, runs really good, shifts through the gears beautifully, handles great. Uh, I like the bars on it, I don't know if these are the original bars or not, but it feels like a Steve McQueen machine to me, that's for sure. Showing 16,000 miles on the odometer. The seat's in real nice shape. Original tail light. It's a beautiful piece. The uh, header pipes appear to be the originals, but it has a shorty set of uh, little baloney mufflers there, little short mufflers. If you, hey Kenny. Can you zoom in on the valve covers and the uh, inspection ports? You can see they have a special finish on them too. It almost looks like a nickel plating. I'm not sure, I, I've never seen that on a motor. I'm not sure if that's uh, cadmium or nickel plating or what that is. But um, he took a, a lot of care and attention to detail on the motor when it was dismantled for rebuild. The heads, they're really just beautiful. The, the cylinders, the uh, intake, really nice and it runs awesome. Front brakes work great. Uh, rear brakes work great. Clutch and training. Why don't we do a drive-by so they can hear? They can hear it eat. back to my youth. When I was a kid, I had a 72 Triumph Daytona 500, the little brother to this one. This is definitely a beefier machine. This was a bike to have back in the day. This dominated street racing, track racing, flat track racing. This jacket I'm wearing right here, Gary Nixon, he was a flat track racer who dominated the circuit on a Triumph. And uh, I think if you read the jacket ears, can you read this, Kenny? It says 1967 national champion, 1968 national champion. This jacket is a commemorative jacket of Gary Nixon, number nine. He was a flat track racer. He won uh, the Grand National Championship Racing Triumphs. Very similar design to this set up for racing. They're, uh, they have a racing pedigree going back a long way. Just an awesome machine. Very durable piece to run forever. Bikes 51.
sounds been. It's a hoot to drive. It's freezing cold out, but I'm warm inside riding this thing. We should bring in the side by the, uh, can you open the second door floor? I want to bring it down by the other triumphs. happening guys here we have our lineup of british bikes here in the museum on the second floor starting all the way down at the other end with the matchless we have a beautiful 200 mile uh matchless probably one of the nicest ones in the country some nice bsas then we've got a, a 1946 triumph a 67 daytona and this is a 69 tiger in the uh, uh burgundy color here that's on display in the museum we bought the bike in he passed away last year it was a little bit dusty basically the the, the, the service department went through it uh charged the battery drain the fuel out of the tank and put fresh VP non-ethanol fuel on it. We took the liberty of changing the, uh, um, uh, putting filters in the inline filters in and changing the uh, fuel hoses to freshen that up. We took the carb off, the carb was cleaned, dismantled um, and reassembled. The air cleaner was in mint shape. So as you can see the air cleaner is still nice and clean, beautiful air filter. And uh, the paint job's nice on it, it was done I don't know, I, I, didn't, I didn't talk to the guy, he passed away, I talked to his brother, he didn't have all the facts, but he knows his brother, took it right down and uh, painted the frame, painted the tanks, and rebuilt the motor, but I don't have any receipts for, for the work that was done, but you can see obviously it was done. So, um, awesome original survivor that was restored by, uh, by the owner, and uh, he did change the mufflers, like I said, the only items that don't appear stock to me are the, the shorty mufflers and the paint job, other than that, it appears to be all original. He did, he did have this period correct thin uh, points cover, which is kind of nice. The cases are polished nicely. You can see there's still a shine on the paint in the front where he painted the, the block. Um, and he did a real nice job refinishing the cylinder. I'm assuming that he bored it and rebuilt it. It runs, it pulls really strong. Uh, compression's good and everything works nice. The tachometer, speedometer, the lights, the amp gauge, everything works perfectly on it. So, um, in fact, the tires still have the nubs on them. They still. They can't have more than a, than a couple hundred miles on them. They've got the, the, the nubs front and back still. So ready to roll into the back into the museum here. I'm going to look right at home here with the uh, 69 and 68 and the, the 40s traps here. It belongs in here or it belongs on the open road. It's up to you. But um, yeah, it's uh, if you buy the bike and you want to leave it here in the museum, it would go into the, the, the British section here. If you want to uh, buy it and ship it anywhere in the world, we can help you with that. Just call for a quote. 860-454-7024, call anytime during business hours. Just a kick-ass bike that somebody obviously took care of uh, quite well. I mean, even, even underneath the seat, everything's nice. The seat base, the, um, the wiring is all intact, uh, oil's clean. Beautiful piece. If you have any questions, give us a call, 860-454-7024. It's going up on the uh, auction, which will end next Saturday. Hopefully somebody will buy this and uh, this will make an excellent Christmas present the jacket doesn't go with it i don't know where you'd get one of these they haven't made these in 20 years i don't think and um this is a gift from a friend this jacket so I, it's one of my favorite jackets um long history of being a triumph buff myself so thanks for watching stay tuned god bless america and long live the queen